Alrighty guys, I'm the devil! Welcome back to some Sky Factory! I don't know why I'm checking those furnaces. In the last episode what we did is we went ahead and we did the mob grinder. This has been working a treat actually. I had to change out the um, conveyor belt for the conveyor belt from a different mod. But as you can see we're getting plenty and plenty and plenty of stuff. And this is filling up relatively quickly. A lot more quickly than I would like. God, those spiders are a bit loud, aren't they? But yeah, so if we take a look at conveyor belts. Oops, that's not conveyor belts. I went ahead and I got these ones from Extra Utilities as opposed to my factory loaded. And the reason I changed these out, these were a bit more expensive. But it's because they, the other ones were pushing mobs through the walls. And mobs were just coming out here. These ones, they don't seem to push them through the walls. So I don't know why they push them through the walls, but they do. And we, we can't have that. And I've got this little chest here, which is where I've been opening loot bags. Just shift and right click the loot bag into here. And that opens out. And then you can sort of like see your loot. And let's just move that hammer over there. I found out how to upgrade the um, hammers. I'll show you that in just a quick moment. That's not actually what I meant to press. Where's my E button? There we go. And we'll see what loot this gives us. But in this episode, what I want to do is I kind of want to organize the storage a little bit better of what we've got. Okay, that's not going to let me put anything else in there. So, we got quite a couple of things. Um, what can I take out of here? Let's take these out of here. Along with these. And then we'll just dump those loot bags in there. For now. And where are... Where's my chest? This is my chest. Okay, I can't put everything in here, but we can put that much in there. So, we'll just stick this back in here. So, if you look over here... It's a diamond hammer that you need to put in there. So, just in case you wanted to know, that's a diamond hammer in there. But over here, as you can see, these chests, so they're, they're filling up, you know. We got, that's filled. And it's starting to fill this. So, what I want to do this episode is sort of like start out the storage. And to do that, I'm going to need wood. And, do you know, all the times I play Minecraft, I never really create a wood farm. <laughs> I never really do it, you know. And it's one of the most simple things, and that's kind of like what I want to do this episode, is sort out a wood farm. And we're going to sort that out out here. Obviously, we've got these here, where we're growing different kinds of trees. Sorry guys, just got a itchy nose. So I'm going to need some machines. And the first machine that I want is called a harvester. And if we look in here, we type in harvester. I feel like some sort of poet all of a sudden. We've got this harvester here. Which does actually look a lot more expensive. So I need some iron, some copper, and some tin. Okay, so some iron, some copper, and some tin. Is that all the iron that I actually have? Do I have something here? Nope. Okay. Let's go get some iron smelting down very quickly. It's nice to know that you need iron. You just come here and it's like, oh look, iron for a change. Okay, I haven't put in the additional one for sand yet. You know, we're still missing um, the sand one there. But I'll get to that eventually right now. Right now I don't need it. <laughs> We've got enough stuff. We've got enough stuff coming in. So I'm just going to dump them in there. And it's nice to be able to come here and just, just have that. So if we go to the harvester, we need this tin gear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make five of these. And I think that I actually need glass for this, yes. So, let's see. I don't really have all that much glass. And I don't actually have a hammer that I can just sort of like toss this into, per se. Hmm. We'll just do this the old-fashioned way. And just place it down. Like so. And, oops. Boom. There we go. Plenty. Should I do the rest? Don't really think it matters, does it? I only got 20 to go. Yeah. This is normally how I do a cut and catch back, but my software is just messing up. So, for now... My cuts are going to be very short and sweet. I could be doing as many. 
I am planning on buying a new PC soon. So, to sort this problem out. So, a better one than the one I've currently got. So, we'll probably get to that. It's going to make clear glass, but we can, we can chisel that down. Okay, so, we need iron. She is. That's cool. I need some wood. Where's some wood? No, I don't want that wood. I want that. Sticks. Yes, lots of sticks. We need... Is that Invar? That was Invar. Do I actually have any Invar? Or did I use it all? We've got one. Okay. Let's go get some nickel. See how easy this is? This is so easy. We need nickel. Let's just nip here and um, get some. Let's grab that. How many is that going to make? It's going to make 18 ingots. We'll just dump all of that in. I got a feeling we'll be using Invar a lot. How many? So let's stick that in there. Let's get two blocks of iron out first. So we've got some iron. Come on. Hurry up. Yes, yeah, so that makes me 40 blocks of iron. We'll probably still have a little bit of iron left over, if I'm honest. I think. Let's find out. Our fuel's always up at max. Look. Invar, 54. Cool. Beautiful white liquid. A lot of the liquid that you pour out of this thing is actually white, if you think about it. Look. Very few are a different color. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. We've got some Invar. Okay. Give me that. I'm going to need some redstone, and I don't have any on me. Redstone. Oops, don't go that way. Okay. And, oh, that's a gold gear. That's new. They used to use copper gears, I'm sure. I'm almost certain this never used to use a gold gear. Especially because that looks like a copper gear, if you ask me. Is that not stackable? Yes, it is stackable. And a redstone. Cool. And, what am I missing? Oh, of course, I'm missing the machine frame. Let's go get the clear glass. No, don't you do that. Pick it up. Now, in some mods, you could just put it in here and make it into normal glass, which you can do, which is good. No, don't do that, devil. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to make up four of those, because I'm going to need four. I think I'm going to need four. Okay, is that not letting me put that in? Oh, of course, I'm missing the plastic sheeting. Okay. I did actually whip up some raw plastic off, off camera when I had to chop down some trees. There we go. And boom, the harvester is done. And I just realized I'm going to need a bit more raw plastic than I've got. So, if we go in here and put these back now because I don't need them, what I'm going to need now is an upgrade. If we go to upgrades... We can see that, where are we, where are we? I want this emerald upgrade, which is three emeralds, three raw plastic, two redstone, and a gold nugget. So there, three emeralds. Was that it? Apart from the raw plastic, three emeralds, yes. Just need the raw plastic now. Burn that for me, please. And I also got a cake out of one of these boxes. So I've been eating cake. Doesn't really seem to do very much though, does it? So let's just eat this pumpkin pie. This pumpkin pie is brilliant. Might live off pumpkin pies. Might automate pumpkin pies. Okay, there we go. And if we go ahead and craft this upgrade. Boom. So, oh, actually, I need some plastic. I have plastic on me. So I remember rightly, it's da da and nope. Okay, maybe it's there. We go precision sledgehammer. That's what I wanted, and this allows me to see the radius of this harvester. So I'm gonna basically just pop the harvester down. I actually need a slab. <laughs> That's okay. I'll nick this one. This is of no use right here. So we'll nick it. And we just pop it down right there. 
And there we go. If you look here, you can see this harvester's range is right there. I could actually probably put this one further forward, to be honest. And that harvester is going to chop down any trees within its range. But I'm hoping that if we put this in, the range will increase to a radius that I am very happy with. Yes, I'm very happy with that radius. Very, very happy indeed. That's a plenty of radius. That means it'll chop down each of these. So, the question is, how are we going to power this thing? And the truth is, it's going to be a very difficult power. <laughs> it's going to be a very unique kind of power, actually. Although, for now, I believe we've got a very easy way of powering it. Where is my solar panel? I just take the solar panel and we stick it on top of it. And that's going to power it. <laughs> and I'll start chopping down these trees, um, which means I need a chest. So let's grab a chest. I just should have a couple laying around. Um, not in there. I know that the mob farm has generated some chests. Oddly enough, one of the mobs that you kill here generates... Drops chests. Where are we? There we go, look. Nine of them. So we have a source of incoming chests. Oddly enough, from a mob farm. That's the first thing that you want from a mob farm, isn't it? Incoming chests. So I'm basically just going to pop this here for now. Like so. And pop this down on there. And this should get power. Once this gets power. <laughs> but obviously it's night, so it's not going to get power. So let's just go and quickly sleep. So that thing can get power. I've got an itchy foot. Okay. And I want a quick drink. And the other thing should get power. There we go, look. And the brilliant thing is, this harvester won't be active all the time. Only just a certain amount of the time. So to give plenty of time for this thing to go ahead and... Thing again, as you can see, it's dumping stuff into the chest that it's harvesting. But it's not really planting the stuff. So I kind of wanted to plant the stuff as well. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take out this. I'm going to take out... Oh, hang on a minute. That's our very first piece of dirt. I'm going to take out this. And we're going to lose our very first piece of dirt, but that's okay. It's gone. Gone! Okay, now I'm going to need a bucket of water. And some dirt. So, I think now it's time, because we're going to need some more dirt. I don't think I actually have any dirt, do I? I have one piece, that's not going to cut it. <laughs> that is definitely not going to cut it. So actually, hmm, I'm trying to think about what I want to do underneath here. I'm going to need some dirt. I'm going to need a little room, which I think we can pop here. Okay, I'm going to let me get a room together and a couple of other things and then I'll come right back to you. Alrighty guys, welcome back and I've hauled out this room and I've made some little changes. I've decided to put the um, harvester, that's it, I couldn't think of the name, here. And fill this entire thing out here with dirt. And then we'll have different trees planted in different areas, that kind of stuff. So... First thing that I need is some barrels, because first thing I want to do is automate dirt. So that's going to be quite important to us. So we're going to lose a few barrels, but that's okay. And I'm going to teach you how to do this very quickly, very easily, and it's very, very simple. Basically, all we're going to do is pretty much that. <laughs> that's actually, no, let's, let's go that's five barrels, isn't it? Yeah, five's good, five's good. I'm going to move this one over. This door. This door is just simply to get out here if I need to get out here. But we probably won't need to even go out here. So. Now I need some item conduits. And a couple of barrels. Don't want to use barrels or don't want to use chests. John, I'm thinking a chest might be the better option. Let's see. Let's grab some iron. Is there any four iron in here? Iron. Cool. So we'll grab an iron chest. That should be plenty of room. And now I need some pulsating iron, which I've got. I went ahead and made some up off camera. 
We did that in the earlier episode, so if you don't know how to make that, just head back a couple of episodes, you'll figure it out. It's relatively easy to make. It's just iron and ender pearl in an alloy smelter. And I'm probably going to need more than eight, if I'm honest. And the thing that I want is a conduit probe. And how the hell do I make one of those? There we go. So it's redstone and... Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult to make. Where are we? There's my stone. I know I have some quartz. Where did I put my quartz? Did I put my quartz in here? Yes, I got some quartz out of some loot bags. And now I need some sticks, which I already had. And I need three redstone torches. So, let's do that. That. Cool. And then we should be able to make the comparator. Cool. And the energy conduit, I need redstone alloy for that. So we'll just stick away this, um, what can we stick away? Um, let's just chuck away a load of our blocks. We don't need these. What up if I put them in the right chest? Get rid of our blocks. Got too many blocks. Actually, no, I need that. <laughs> okay. So, I wanted this, which means I need redstone alloy. We need the electric steel, redstone alloy. Conduct Is it redstone alloy I need? No, it's condu conductive iron. So that's cool. What do I need for this? This is redstone alloy, which is silicon and an end and some. I just don't have any silicon, do I? Oh wait, yes, I have silicon there. Okay, but I actually have some redstone alloy there, which is good. So I need to quickly make up that, and then this, boom. And then, I need pains. I should have some pains. Yep, cute. Cool. God, this thing is long-winded. Okay, now I need a um, barrel. Do I have any barrels? Come on, I've got to have one barrel. No, I don't have any barrels. Huh. Strange. And do I have any logs is a question. Yes. So, let's pop those in there. Pop these away. Um, that, that, that. And I need some slabs. Cool. And then we need... No, I need a barrel. I actually know how to make a barrel. Boom. Fine then, don't switch with anything in my inventory, you stupid barrel. So if we go here... I'm going to pop the barrel there. And I'm going to pop the chest. Where is it? Here. Like so. And then... I'm going to go ahead and do this, 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 and this. And then this, 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 and this. So I should want this to go to... I want this to... No, not in and out. I want this to extract without a signal. And I'm going to... Conduit copy settings copied. Can I not paste that on there? Why are you no paste? You're actually going to make me do this, aren't you? I was trying to avoid doing this. So you got to get underneath them. I was hoping with that, that we might be able to avoid this, but you can just slab it. Like so, and then that gets you down low enough. Normally. It does if you crouch. This is going to be useless to us, because I've got to crouch to get this. Extract without a signal. Eh. Extract without a signal. Extract without a signal. And we've got to do this for all of these. No, don't do that. That. Cool. I wish they'd make this easier to grab. And this one needs to be insert. Cool. I only have three of those, so I'll have to repair that afterwards. So, this one needs to be... At least we can use this for here. Because this one needs to be insert. And we could just... 
When it decides to work. Eh, cool. Sorted. And then, all we got to do is you chopped something down. Okay. Um, where are we? Pop that away, pop that away, pop that away, pop those away. Those go away. So now, all we got to do is grab some dirt. Not some dirt. Why did I say dirt? I know exactly what I want to grab, and that's these leaves. Okay, let me just toss some of this stuff away like that, that, that. The gear, that, that. That way I can grab some more. Boom. And then... We just take all the stuff that we want to compress into dirt. Throw it in here. Like so. No, that's definitely not going to make dirt. And then that is going to fill up these. And then once this turns into dirt, it's going to extract it and pop it there. So now... I'm going to need some dirt before I can continue. So, I think that that will, I think we'll call it an episode there. Let some dirt grab between episodes and then work on the storage slash wood area next episode. Let's see, I don't have any of those cobblestone things on me. Let's fix this first. Okay. And cobble, and I want, that's the floor. Let's fix this first. Just before we end the episode off. I do try and keep these Sky Factory episodes about 20 minutes long. Short and sweet is what I is a, is the way I see it. There we go. And there you go, look. Dirt. So. I think, actually, we might have some time on our hands. Oh, no, we don't. I just remembered what it requires. <laughs> so, I'm not sure exactly now how I'm going to power this. See, my, my pat plan was these cells here. You've got these photovoltaic cells and these advanced ones. And I wanted these advanced ones, but they require vibrant crystals. See, these generate up to 40 RF per tick. And I was going to put them on the roof and then sort of like bring the power down here to a capacitor bank that would be right there. We've got vibrant alloy, pulsating iron, Daylight sensors is going to be the problem because I don't have much quartz. So maybe in the next episode what we'll do is we'll set up a... We'll go through here a bit further and we'll set up a soul sand farm. I think that's something that we're going to need. A soul sand farm. To obviously get this where we want to get it. But we can use a normal... We can use a normal sol solar cells we've got for now on this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create a capacitor bank real quickly and we've got two basic capacitors there and I believe basic capacitors require whetstone this and is it copper so we'll do this on camera this bit basic capacitor bank okay cool that's those and now I need iron and a block of redstone iron and a block of redstone, like so. Boom, that's that done. And then I do have some energy conduits left over. And we do have this. So what I'm thinking, as we pop this here, we pop that there. So the good thing is with the advanced, with the other solar cells, Right, with the other ones, they all connect, so you only need a cable attached to one of them. And as long as you've got a cable attached to one of them, it'll draw power from all of them. They're a multi-block structure, which is why I want them. So we could have them, like, all along the roof. Which actually should be a very good source of power. It'd stop mob spawning up there as well. <laughs> I wouldn't even need a big reactor, because that would produce a mass amount of power. So maybe we might do that for power, for max power in this game. Let's just pick these up. Look at that. That just looks cool. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll stick a chest here. And just... Not that. Dump that and that in the chest. See, I plan a storage area as well. 
Maybe we'll have the storage area downstairs. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll work on a bit of downstairs. I'll, you know, we can put this design downstairs and have the storage area there. It'd probably be better to put this downstairs, though, if I'm honest. Looks ugly. I think I was going to put some painted stuff over here just to make it look a lot nicer. Maybe we'll put the storage in here and do the storage thing. Yeah, I think we can have storage through one and the um, soul sand generator through the other. I think that would be good. I think we might do that, actually. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. But yeah, we'll get on that in the next episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm the devil. That's generating power. That's good. I'm the devil. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like and click subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.